Hi, um, welcome today. And I wanted to talk to you about the subject of arguing today. Um, now, don't get arguing mixed up with standing up for yourself. Because standing up for yourself is a whole different matter. Um, an argument can sometimes arise when there's someone that has a different intention than you. Or maybe they have a different opinion than you. And um, arguing is not the best constructive or respectful way to deal with any kind of conflict. So arguments start with conflict. Um, some kind of conflict or disagreement. Usually, arguing does not take away any consequences. And sometimes people think that they can argue to get out of having to do certain things that they didn't want to do. And it doesn't usually result in that outcome. Usually, the result of arguing is a waste of time. And your relationships are hurt from the argument. And that's not a good thing. So, it's a losing move. When you decide to argue, you've made a losing move. Now, if you're a lawyer and you have to argue a case, they say arguing. You get paid to do that. You've been trained to do that. Do it. When it comes to relationships, don't. Like I said, it's a losing move. It hurts the relationship and it wastes time. Think about it. When you engage in arguments, you're listening to the person explain or say their opinion. And at the same time, you're trying to think of a way to say, no, that's not right. While you're listening to it, you're not really listening to it and taking it in you are sitting there thinking about nope you don't have a solid standing in this and this is why you know and so you're creating a counter argument you're arguing back and guess what usually when this happens people both walk away feeling like they were right to begin with so it's not productive so when you argue, you're wasting time, you're hurting your relationships. So losing moves. I've seen a lot of people doing it lately. Losing moves. That's what arguments are. Losing moves. So avoid arguing when you communicate with people. Relationships, people of authority. Imagine this. Imagine a police officer gave you a ticket and you decided to argue with the police officer and they just walked away. And then you go to court because you think you have a good case. You're going to argue and not win. Oh no. I don't know. There could be situations where some people could win. That's not very likely. Majority. You can look at the cases in and see the majority, they're not liking the argument. Because when you break the law, you break the law. When you break the rule, you break the rule. It seems like a lot of people are arguing to get out of doing responsibilities also. And I know you don't want to do it. That's why you started the argument to begin with. Because the, your intention was to not do it. So, um, it's really disrespect, disrespectful and, and kind of lazy to decide to argue instead of just doing it. And not only was it lazy, um, it also hurt your relationship. Because now, the person that you argued with is not very happy with you. So... You can choose to listen to the other person and what they have to say instead. So just before you start blurting stuff out of your mouth, 
you can zip it, throw away the key, okay? Just for a little bit, because when you sit and you listen to people, you let them finish everything they have to say, that is gonna increase the chance and the likelihood that they are going to listen to what you have to say. They're not gonna listen to what you have to say for the pur purpose of understanding it when you're arguing. They are going to listen to what you say only for the purpose of proving you wrong. That's the only reason. So my recommendation is, and my life skill tip to you is stop arguing. I don't even know why so many people are arguing. Maybe they learned it from their family they grew up in or something, but I've never, I've never grown in a relationship because of an argument. Never. Um, no, I've talked through disagreements and grown, but the disrespectful ways that people are arguing, it's not helping them. It's not helping them be good communicators. It's not helping people have respect for them. As a matter of fact, you're hurting as many relationships as you choose to argue in, all those relationships you're hurting. So just stop it and find a different way to communicate what it is, a respectful way. And that is my tip for you today. If you like this video, Click like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Have a good day. Bye.